Hello, everyone. Welcome to um, Altair's Aerospace Coffee Break for Data Analytics. So this is our first one of an ongoing series that we're having, and it's just going to be um, a 15-minute session every other Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time um, for anyone in the aerospace community globally to be able to attend, listen. Um, we're not going to have any live Q&A or anything like that, um, and this, of course, will, will be recorded. And just the time to um, talk about um, what's new analytics and share different Altair tools that can help you do um, specific analytic solutions from like data prep, where today we're going to kick us off with a PDF extraction, um, getting data from PDFs, um, or even down the line um, use cases and different customer stories as well. So I'm Jasmine Armour. I'm our data analytics lead for aerospace um, for North America. And um, Lou and Allegra, do you want to introduce yourselves as well? Um, sure. Um, let's see here. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Allegra Misseldon. I'm one of the solution specialists here at Altair. Uh, before coming to Altair, I was a nuclear missile operations officer in the Air Force. So I've been with the company for a little over four years now, uh, and I work with customers to help solve any problems that they may have with our data analytics solutions. All right. All right. We're going to skip the refer today and then um, go ahead. So um, I'll just add one more thing before we get started, Allegra. So right. these are going to be um, every other week, like I mentioned, and we're going to switch off presenters. So Allegra and LaRue and a couple of others are part of our um, data analytics team for our aerospace team. And so um, depending on the week, there's going to be a different presenter on a different topic. So just be aware. If you don't see the same people every time, that's okay. Um, we're all still part of the same team. All right, Allegra, take it away. All right. Thanks, Jasmine. Um, all right, so I did mention that I help uh, customers uh, utilizing our data solutions um, suite. So let's dive into that platform just a little bit more. Um, so our Altair Rapid Miner um, is a true end-to-end -end frictionless AI platform. So it covers all analytical tasks from uh, data ingestion, processing, modeling, and operations. So it's going to help support the collaboration uh, between all data stakeholders, removing any friction between the different audiences. Um, so it accelerates users from uh, concept to production by offering auto ML, visual workflows, and coding for all aspects of data science. Uh, it empowers users to extract and prep data easily from any source working with reports and PDFs, uh, something that we'll actually be touching on today. Um, it can help you modernize established data analytics environments such as SAS and Python. Uh, and with our desktop and cloud offerings, we cater to enterprise needs uh, in a seamless future proof way. Uh, so the part of the platform that we're going to be covering today is Monarch. Uh, it's a comprehensive self-service data transformation and process automation solution. Um, it connects directly to a wide range of structured and semi-structured data sources. So this is, in, is going to include your PDFs, your text files, uh, spreadsheets, web files, um, relational databases, as well as uh, many other data sources. Um, Users can extract, cleanse, and transform their data into consistent, governed, and secure rows and columns uh, without specialized knowledge or training uh, and without writing any code. Uh, so Monarch includes more than 80 pre-built data preparation functions. Um, so this is going to make it easy for users to build new workflows within minutes. Uh, it also incorporates uh, patented report trapping technology, uh, and it's built on more than 30 years of experience. All right, so today we are going to go over uh, PDF extraction within Monarch. So some of the challenges that we typically see with customers who use PDFs uh, include uh, them hand jamming or copying and pasting a lot of information from these reports into Excel so they can further edit or manipulate the data. Uh, this can actually take them hours to days and sometimes even weeks to complete. Uh, but with Monarch, we're actually able to create models uh, for these reports. Um, and the great thing about these models is that once they're built, that's it. 
uh, it can be applied to any of their future reports, instantly extracting the data that they need, uh, which means that their process can go from days and weeks to just minutes or sometimes even seconds. So we're actually going to hop into the demonstration now. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. All right, so the report that we're going to be working with today is this PDF. Uh, it's just this invoice here. Uh, and basically what we're wanting to do is extract out um, some of this main information here, the bulk of the information. So everything, including, you know, that item number description, uh, ordered and shipped quantities uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then we're also going to grab some of the information in the header as well. So maybe this customer PO number as well as the invoice number, just to kind of give you an idea um, on how to extract from PDFs. So this is Data Prep Studio when you first open it up. And then what we're going to do is just simply drag and drop our invoice into uh, Monarch. So what happens when you do that is that it opens up this report design window here. And since we are working with the PDF um, today, it actually opens up on this document options tab. Uh, and what this document options tab is going to do for you. So say that you bring in your PDF um, and maybe it's not as well aligned in the formatting as this one. Maybe there's some shifting going on. Uh, and basically what document options is going to do is allow you to play with that text formatting. So you have some text flow options so you can play with the alignment, get rid of uh, white spaces. You can play with the stretch of the report. And you can even switch to an older engine version in Monarch, which will essentially give you other text flow options. And in my experience, sometimes even switching to an older engine version corrects the formatting as well. So this is basically just a good tool for you to utilize uh, to help uh, with that extraction piece. But since our report's good to go, we can just go ahead and hit accept. And then it brings us into the trapping tab for the report design window. Uh, window. So this is basically where we are going to begin the uh, data extraction piece. Um, so first things first, it's good to give the report a once over just to see if you can see any patterns within that report. Um, so this is going to give you a good idea of the logic that you're going to build or what we call traps in order to focus on these lines of information and begin that extraction piece. So, you know, looking at this item number, we could see this is right aligned. Uh, we could potentially do it based off the quantities under ordered and shipped. Um, but for this one, I think that I actually might use the price and the amount columns uh, since we are dealing with monetary values. Um, the pattern of having the decimal followed by two numbers is uh, pretty consistent. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to left click by that first line of information. We'll right click here and then we're going to create a uh, our template. So these are some of the different templates that you can utilize. We're going to start off with the detailed template. Typically, this is a template that's going to be used to extract the bulk of the information. I think of it as a very foundational template, uh, especially because whenever you use some of these other templates, uh, it lets Monarch know where those templates are in relation to that detail template. So I'm going to go ahead and select detail. Um, and then we're going to come up to the top. Uh, so up here, we actually have this drop down um, and it has the different trapping types. So typically you'll be use, uh, using a standard trap. Uh, so this is good whenever, you know, your, your report, everything is lined up nicely. The, uh, the data is pretty static. It's not shifting around. This is the one that you're typically going to use. Um, in those instances where you know you you played with the document options, maybe the formatting still isn't exact, and you do have some shifting. We do have the ability to use uh, floating traps or even coding with regex to extract that data out. But we're going to go ahead and leave that on standard. And then to the right of that, uh, we have some different uh, trap symbols that you can use to um, to build that logic out for your uh, reports. 
So for this one, this is your alpha trap. So any letters, your numeric, your numeric trap ready numbers, uh, blank for any blanks. And then you have your non-blank traps that can be utilized for letters or numbers, uh, as well as uh, different various characters as well. Uh, so I'm actually gonna come over to this price and amount column. We're gonna go ahead, we'll do a decimal followed by that numeric trap. So I'll hit that twice. And then for good measure, I'm just gonna do it to that amount column as well. So here you can see that we have some of these chevrons here on the left-hand side. We also can see that these lines of information are highlighted, letting us know that Monarch is looking at these particular lines of information because they match the pattern that we created essentially. So if we scroll through the port, you can see that it's picking up on this information. So this is good for us because now we can begin to highlight the fields of information that we want to extract. So starting off with that item number, I can come up here, highlight that, and then you can start to see the columns populate down below. And then here on the left hand side, you can actually start to rename your column headers as you go. So same thing here. So we have the description. And then for the description, uh, you can see that we have some information that's actually below this initial line. So we do, of course, have a way to account for that. So if we come over here to the left hand side, we come over to the advanced field properties. We come down to end field on and then we select blank field values. And basically what this is gonna do, it's going to continue to grab any lines of information below that initial one until it hits uh, a blank line or it runs into the next uh, bulk of information. And then we're just gonna continue on and highlight our fields and rename these column headers. So you have your ordered, you have your shipped. Uh, let's see, you have your unit of measure as well as price and amount. All right, so we basically have the bulk of the information that we want extracted out. Um, and then I did mention we were wanting to grab maybe some of the information um, up above. So in this instance, I do want to grab that customer PO number. Um, so in order to do this, I'm just going to actually do a multi-line trap. So you can actually highlight multiple lines of information um, and utilize um, a certain piece of information within this or create a pattern based off something uh, within these lines in order to um, start the extraction. So I highlighted those three lines, I'll create a template. And then previously I mentioned how I saw the detail template kind of as the foundation, which allows Monarch to, to know where the other templates are in relation to it. So this is one of those instances. So I'm gonna be using this append template. And basically that is going to grab any information that is above the detail line. So since our detail was down here, and now we are using the append to grab any information that we have up above. So for this one, uh, we come back to the top. So I could use some of these symbols that we used previously, or I could use specific words that are within the report as well. So for here, I'm just gonna use customer PO, and then I can actually come down here and highlight the information that I want out as well. So you can see that populates there, and then I can just rename that header. So customer PM. Uh, and then if I wanted to grab that invoice number, same thing, I would just come up to the top, right click, create template, we'll do append, and then we will do our invoice number, highlight that information, and then it populates below. And then I can rename this my invoice number. Awesome. So uh, just a good practice to have as well, especially if you have multiple templates, is to come in and just rename these, especially if you end up with multiple append templates. So for example, this one was the customer PO. 
um, and this one was the invoice number. And this is just good to do just in case you have to come back into report design and maybe make uh, a couple edits. You can actually just come over to the template that you need to make the edit on uh, and just quickly do that instead of scrolling through multiple templates. All right, so before we hit accept, there is one more thing I want to do, and that is to come up to this report verify button here at the top. Uh, it's kind of like Monarch spell check. So if we go ahead and click it, uh, it actually goes through the report and lets you know if there are any characters on the outside of the fields that you created. And basically this just lets you know, hey, like you're potentially missing some information. You know, maybe you want to correct the size of some of your fields. So for this one, we can see this item number. This field isn't large enough for it. So we can actually go ahead, drag that out, and it's good to drag that field out just a little bit further than you would think, um, just because any future report could have an even longer item number. So it's good to be proactive in that sense. And then we could go ahead, hit continue, pull out that amount column. Our verification is complete. We hit OK. We select apply. So now we know our fields are capturing everything. We pulled everything that we want essentially out of this uh, report. And then you can hit accept. Uh, and then, then this basically uh, leads into the prepare window where you can make even further edits uh, to your report. But that basically sums up the PDF extraction piece. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to Jasmine. Thanks, Blake, for a fantastic demonstration. And hopefully this is interesting to everyone who's joined as well. There are obviously many applications for this. Um, reporting, looking at supplier information, cybersecurity, there's literally um, endless options. So um, this would be something that will be available to be rewatched. And if you um, want to talk about this specifically or talk through your specific use case and get a demo as well, um, then you can go ahead and reach out to myself and I'll connect you with the appropriate team, um, which will include me and, and Allegra and Lira as well. And so um, thanks everyone for joining today and I'll post the recording to our um, Altair YouTube channel and I'll have a link for that shortly as well. Have a good day.